so this month's been quite intense. This January has been a prime example of my ability to get very carried away. So I wanted to show you the new things that I've designed in January 2024. So I'm going to try and do this in chronological order and forgive me if I'm slightly wrong, but I think I can remember what order I did them in. So from the beginning of January, we had the guinea pig. This little dude is inspired by Himalayan guinea pigs with the cute little dark points. I made him in a flecked yarn that gave this lovely sort of more textured feel and look to the coat, but without the extra effort of having to and so in the tiny little details. Um, yes, yeah, so he was the first one that I made up. The next one was a llama. I basically made this llama because I made an alpaca previously and people kept on calling it a llama. It was an alpaca. So this is a llama, very specifically. I was really pleased with this because um, firstly, it's got a funky hairstyle. Does it look like a third ear? Nah, you can tell it's his French. Um, yes, so he's nice and upright, sturdy body. I was quite pleased with uh, how I got the proportions to work. Getting uh, this sort of neck shape while still maintaining its ability to stand on all of its legs was uh, was an easy was not an easy challenge, but um, but we pulled it off. So that was the next one that came along, which was the Amigurumi Llama. I think I called him Colin. I don't know why. I don't have a pattern for this one. But next, I believe, came this little guy. This is a mongoose. And I made him up on a long car journey and I broke all my usual rules and I didn't write down the pattern. So, uh, I did try and reverse engineer it, but I wasn't overly happy with what I've done and, and certainly not confident to share it with you guys and not have you make something that looked like some kind of squirrel monkey. So we didn't go with that, but that is another pattern that I made up. And I really liked, um, I liked the position that I got with his body and things like that. I'm, I'm gonna loosely base a ferret on this again at some point. But instead, what followed from him was a pine martin. The worst thing about this pine martin is that I assumed that pine martin was spelled like the man's name Martin, and it's not, it's E-N. So then I had to go through social media and the video where I talked about it and change the spelling on everything. After that, I made a cushion, which I'm sitting on. Every time I mention this cushion and then I have to unsquish it from where my butt was. See, I call this a cushion because in England, this is a cushion. I am aware that most of you are American and it is a throw pillow or a pillow to you. Cushion, throw pillow. Either way, squishy round thing that goes on my chair and is really nice for my back. I was really pleased with this. It took a long time to uh, make. It's simple sort of circles, increases and decreases, but you know, it's it's a lot of stitches in there going round and round and round and round for a very long time. Um, so this is, this is definitely the thing that took me the most time this month, other than a corner to corner blanket that I'm not gonna share because it's not my pattern, it's just generic corner to corner. Um, and I made a couple of those. Uh, one I'm still making for me and some for friends, kids. But yes, cushion. That's the next thing I made this month. Um, so I can't remember if I mentioned, but all of the patterns for these are on the Lucy Kate Crochet website. I've got a couple of video tutorials for them as well, but mostly written patterns, all completely free, all the time, always um, on my website. So go and check them out if you want to make some yourself as well. The next crochet pattern I designed, I think was the seahorse. It's funny, this has been relatively well received, but for me personally, it's one of my absolute favorite things that I have ever made. I think it's a combination of the big eyes that match the colors of them and then the sort of trumpety nose and, and I like sea creatures. They remind me of reptiles and amphibians. So yes, seahorse, that was the next one. And then after the seahorse, I started making flowers and I made tulips. Little tulips. They've got pipe cleaners inside so that they stand up, made little leaves for some of them um, and stems. Uh, the idea with the flower thing is for them to be uh, relatively realistic. I then made daffodils. Ta -da! 
because spring's coming and I love daffodils. And also, I love how those colours match together. Then I made daffodils and finally I made a bunch of sunflowers. I don't have them here now because I gave them to my friend the other day. Um, but yeah, so tulips, daffodils and sunflowers. I also made new patterns for those. Then I was having this sort of back and forth thing where I was thinking an awful lot about different types of yarn and chenille yarn and I made some videos on it. Um, and I, so I went back to try and use chenille yarn again just the other day and I made this, which I don't want to sound like that guy, right? But I really like this. It's got a little baby. So cool. I made a wallaby and a joey and the joey pops in and out the pocket and it's this tiny baby. Um, yeah, so I made that just the other day and that, so today I'm filming this, it's the 30th of July. <laughs> it's not, it's the 30th of January. And there are 31 days in January. 30 days have September, April, June, and November, all the rest of 31. January has 31 days. So there's 31 days in January. Um, so I still have one day left. So I'm gonna show you, because I might finish it in time, although I think I probably won't, the final pattern that I'm designing. So um, as of filming this, this pattern for this is not up on, um, on the website yet, but I have it all written down in my scruffy notes. So I write everything down on paper or on my phone if I don't have paper as I go and then I write it all up. Um, so I've got the notes for that, but I'm making something else. I don't know how well that shows up on camera. So it's a Pekingese. And the reason that I don't think that I will be finished particularly soon is I don't know if you know Pekingese, but they've got long hair. So I'm basically making up the body and the head and everything like that. And then I've got to add in by hand probably um sewing on this long floppy fur um which i think is going to take me a while so uh you might not see that pattern for a bit but um the reason i'm doing a pekingese um and i've got to be honest apologies to pekingese fans it's not my favorite breed of dog um because they tend to suffer from quite a few um health problems as a result of their flattened faces that's why i've given him a little bit more of a nose than you'd normally find but uh, a friend's mum friend has them and uh, she was like she'd really like one for her so I thought well I'll I'll try and try and make one up and see where we get to and uh, so that's where I've got to so far and it's um it's been an interesting uh, an interesting one so I popped that together yesterday evening and we'll see where the pattern goes I'm writing it down as I go um so if I'm happy with it when it finishes that'll go up on the website too but um but yeah that is all the crochet projects that I designed in January 2024. What did you think? Did you have a favourite? Did you have a not favourite? I don't want to hear about your not favourite. Just tell me your favourite. What was your favourite one? And if you have anything that you would really like uh, me to design in the coming months, then always let me know. Anything that, um, that sort of gets my inspiration going, I'm happy to happy to have a try with and add it to the list. So, so yeah, I can't wait to hear from you in the comments section and happy crocheting.